uh, 2013, we applied for a very, very large grant from the National Institutes of Health to have our own high field instrument, and we succeeded with that, and that is bringing the 800 megahertz NMR to UC Santa Cruz. An NMR spectrometer is a large instrument that's used for solving the structures of important biomolecules, um, proteins, nucleic acid complexes, and it works by using a very, very powerful magnetic field, hundreds of thousands of times greater than the Earth's magnetic field. It's essentially a very big magnet, and so when we put our sample, it can be protein, it can be small molecules, and when you put in there, everything with a spin will align with the magnetic fields. And along with that, we apply radio frequency pulses, and that allows us to see where different atoms are within these complex biomolecules. And by applying different types of what we call pulse trains, we can read out distances and ultimately use computers to solve structures. And what we're doing is we're using this spectrometer to identify the composition of the compound or the protein and then try to analyze them and see how they work and how they interact with each other. And so obviously as we push our research forward, we need bigger magnet and higher sensitivities. There's a lot of people doing really exciting work at Santa Cruz right now that utilize NMR. One of the main questions that our lab addresses is how animals measure time and use it to control biology. So we're interested in studying how proteins of what we call a circadian or daily clock uh, interact together to make a molecular clock that's present in every one of your cells. It turns out that one of these proteins is very flexible and dynamic and takes on many different shapes. We've used NMR spectroscopy to measure how it moves and is flexible and interacts with different protein partners to, to essentially establish 24-hour time. A great advantage of nuclear magnetic resonance as a structural technique is that one can look at proteins in their natural water, aqueous, as we say, environment. This allows us to very quickly, once we have a protein of interest, we can very quickly put it into a sample, start acquiring NMR data. Um, it also enables us to look at how, for instance, drugs that may be important or under development interact with those proteins, those targets. We're a molecular immunology lab, uh, and what the key focus of our research is, is to understand what are the key molecular events in the recognition of uh, a virus-infected cell or a tumor by our immune system. We are very interested in neurodegenerative diseases. Our research uh, impinges and touches on Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and somewhat less well-known but still diseases that make it into the headline, so-called mad cow disease, and there's a human equivalent called Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. UC Santa Cruz has a long history of you know, working with nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometers. And throughout the years, we, we have 200 megahertz, 300 megahertz, 500 megahertz, and 600 megahertz magnets. There's a couple of advantages of having a high-end instrument in 800 megahertz here at UC Santa Cruz. One is that there's no waiting. We can get right onto the instrument. But another really critical issue is that we need to be able to have the instrument near our laboratory so that we can treat our samples appropriately. If we treat the sample here, we can very, very quickly detect whether the sample still has the integrity that we need to be able to carry out our, our experiments. With the new spectrometer, we're pushing signal to, to noise close to 10,000 to 1. Compared to a 600 megahertz with room temperature probe, we're looking at about 1,000 to 1. So having a facility like the um, NMR facility, in particular with the 800 megahertz NMR, um, really offers incredible opportunities for our graduate students, but also for our undergraduate students. And we really are pushing the frontier in terms of structural studies of proteins and complexes. And so having access to the 800 megahertz spectrometer will allow us to work on bigger complexes, um, which then allows us to ask sort of bigger, more important questions. Everything we do here, we're trying to understand how everything works. Whether it's a small molecule or it's a large biomolecule, things can be very complicated. There's really exciting science going on here. Kind of at the forefront of the field of NMR to really push the limits of what we're doing um, with protein biology and NMR spectroscopy.